your audience and third gathering session and the third gathering and the last one. And Gabor Kovac, I will share you uh, a small part of my PhD study. Uh, I investigate the nerve tectonic features of my study area and now I will share you the opportunity of the usage of the second military sur uh, survey in this kind of investigations. What is that study area? It's situated in the western margin of the Pannonian Basin, partly elongated to Austria. And this area isn't only uh, interesting because it's my birthplace, but uh, this is in uh, a special, pos special position between the still uplifting Eastern Alps and the subsiding Little Hungarian Plain. It is partly elongated to the Styrian Basin. Uh, we suppose that these special uh, forces affect the recent surface. Let's see the geology of the study area. It's mostly covered by Miocene, very soft sediment, for example, sandy, clayly, and marly sediment. And in this study, very important, the outcropped, uplift lifting metamorph complexes, for example, Bernstein mountains, Kursa Grafnitz mountains, and Washi. Restosine gravel terraces can be also observed on the Area. Let's see the Miocene dynamics of the study area. It's situated in the middle of the extruded block of the Alps due to the uh, uplifting of the eastern Alps and something about the vertical uh, movement. It's in the vicinity of the uplifting and estimated uh, rectitude window, what called the Kursag Mountains and the Wash Hill as well. We can suppose, uh, according to this information, that during the Miocene some tectonic features uh, affected the surface, but what about the recent times? Recently, the vertical cluster movements can be measured by GPS data. Please check that yellowish arrows that indicate the vertical uh, movements of the area. You can see that uh, an eastward, northeastward uh, moving is <coughs> observable at the study area. And what about the vertical movements recently? The study area is crossed by the zero vertical motion isoline. So to understand what that means, the western part of the study area is still uplifting today, while the eastern part of the study area is subsiding. We suppose that uh, neototonic features have to uh, affect the recent surface as well. And see the SRTM elevation model about the study area. The most important thing that is a hilly area bordered by steep scarps, what are supposed to be normal faults. Not so uh, high, uh, 30, 60 meter high normal faults. Another important phenomenon that all of the rivers and streams uh, have an initial north-south direction that usually turns to west-east direction, and these uh, bendings are usually followed by the mentioned scarps, but also occur on the totally flat area. And let's see which stream will be uh, investigated in this presentation. This one is called Pinka stream. Why is it interesting example? Because the source is in the uh, Bernstein mountain, that is theoretically uplifting. Flow across uh, uh, sandy, very hilly uh, sediment, and flow across the uplifting wash hill and reach again an alluvial zone. Some previous result I won't describe the wall 
uh, figure. Just please note that <coughs> this is a simplified model of the study area. Red blocks represent the uplifting realms, for example, Kusek Mountains and Washil, while the highlighted lines are the proved, the proved uh, fault lines. The red arrows are the proved tilting of the surface. And why are these phenomena important in this study? Because the river Pinka flows very close to these faults and, as I mentioned before, across Washi. Why is it important? For example, why is it important that it flows across the Washi, its origin uh, from the uplift in the mountains? As you did describe uh, before, as a valley uh, when a valley floor uh, slope changes due to an adjectonic feature, the type of the river changes. For example, start meandering uh, more uh, highly or change the fluvial type and so on. I used the data from the second military survey, what was created in the middle of the 19th century, with the scale of 28,800. Uh, 28,800. It was created uh, due to mili military purposes and we investigated before that it's very high detail. The recent topographic maps uh, of Hungary are scale of uh, 1 to 1, uh, 1 to 10,000. And as you can see on this figure, where the black lines are the uh, drainage network uh, presented on the second military survey, while the dashed line are the recent topography maps uh, drainage. So, the second military survey is much more detailed than the recent survey. And another advantage of that, that uh, it already could be georeferenced by Gavor Timar and colleagues. And as you can see on this figure, it has very high accuracy. The horizontal shift is around uh, 50, 100 meters. But the shapes, I can say that it's perfect. And it's very important for this kind of investigations. And the most important in this kind of studies is that it shows the nat natural state of the rivers. In previous studies, it showed some spatial information. <laughs> we get some development using the sinuosity. On this figure, the dark colors means the high sinuosity and the lighter colors are the less sinuosity sections of the river. But note that other phenomena can affect the sinuosity of the rivers and this will be the main aim of this study compared to other uh, indicators. So the aims are to get now technical information uh, about the study area and we also wanted to evaluate the second military survey and mostly the fluvial uh, information derived from that. And what kind of indicators can be compared to the sinuosity and so on? For example, the bedrock can also change these kind of things. For example, if the uplifting metamorph complex is uh, more resistant to erosion, uh, it has Effect. I also compare the SL index, what represents the valley floor slope of the river long section. You can observe here a midpoint where the SL value became high, much higher than below, uh, before and after that along the long section. VF index means the incision rate of the certain section. And we also investigated the topography of the vicinity of the uh, river. And what kind of indicators can be derived from the second military survey? For example, if another river flows into the investigated river, the discharge will be increased and the sinuosity and the, or the type of the river will be changed. The other one are the islands. What, uh, can provide information maybe about radiator or uh, section. 
And last but not least, the simulacity uh, will be investigated. Don't be afraid, it's a very complex uh, uh, profile of the river. I will explain what can you see. Firstly, with purple color, you can see the topography, as I mentioned, along the river, while the valley floor is presented with that uh, green line. I also presented the inflows with that blue spots and islands with that green spots along the valley floor. Here is the SL index. Note again that if the SL index is higher, then the valley floor slope is higher as well, while when it's low, the valley floor is very, uh, very flat at the certain section. Next one is the sinusity, it's highlighted with red color and the value of that increases downward. And last but not least the VF index, when it is low, for example here, the section is incised very high. And let's see some results, for example the first section uh, of the river, there is a peak of sinusity and it can be compared to islands can be observed along the river and a peak of SL index as well. It's very interesting that this section is immediately after the metamorph uh, complex of the Bernstein Mountains. So we uh, assume that while the Bernstein Mountains is uplifting, the foothill of that, what is here, is tilting. That's why we think that this section is uplifting, this section is tilting. The next one, here is another peak of the sinuosity. There is also a peak in the SL index and as well at the VF index. It's a good question what caused that feature. We suppose that maybe the continuation of the Kölsteig mountains is uplifting and that causes the effect, but I will get back to that question later on. The next one is a much smaller peak, what can be compared with the peak of the topography and of the SL index. We suppose that maybe a fold can be somewhere here. Let's go along. This is my favorite peak. You can see it's very high. Firstly, man can uh, think that oh, it's a very big fold or very, uh, very uh, high uplifting, but no. If you see, here is the metamorph complex uh, of Washu, and it represents only a highly incised section of that. That means that the river incised previously into the Washu, and the meanders can change. It fixed in, in there. Let's see, yeah, it's called uh, Washu, and we say that it is only incised meander. The next one. Can, nothing can be seen uh, on the sinusity curve, but there is a significant peak on the SL index and a lot of island can be seen at the second military survey. We suppose that there can be a small fold, probably. It is another uh, peak on the sinusity. We compared with the islands and the peak uh, seen on the topography. Okay, we assume that there is an uplift due to this area. Okay, the last peak, it can correspond again with the peak of topography, but with the high peak of the VF index. It can be caused by this scar, but it cannot be seen very well on this uh, figure but this continues here, or maybe due to the inflow of another stream called stream, what is somewhere here. Okay, and let's see the results um, topograph uh, on a map from above. We can say that there are very good relationship between uh, indicators derived from the uh, second military survey and between other indicators. Here are uh, and correspondence between them. 
Here are the faults. It is the uplifting. I won't describe it very detailed. But for example, here is a fault what we assumed before. Here is another one. So uh, we can say that the results are in very good correspondence with our previous results. But new information is uh, revealed as well. For example, here can be a, a fault as well. And here are some interesting features again. So we can say that second military survey is an efficient tool for neotectonic investigation. What are our further uh, issues? We, we would like to investigate further inverse of the study area. I like it there. And we would like to use further indicators, for example, the sinusy spectrum shown by Udi and TS index, what is the uh, correspondence between the drainage area and the channel slope. We would like to investigate the relationship between uh, third military survey or recent topographic maps as well. Thank you for your time. Thank you.